guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kendra and you're watching KP Cam. Okay y'all, we're just gonna do a little chit chat. And I'm gonna take out these braids because they're dusty and crusty. Okay, I'm just gonna tie back. I didn't bring no scissors. So first I'm gonna cut all the braids. Wow, I'm really gonna miss this hair. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, let me just maybe I should do down the middle. Okay, y'all, so what's been going on with me? Because I really have not done a sat down video, sit down video in a long, long time. And I just feel like y'all is so over me. But you know what's so crazy? Wow, I just cut it. Okay. What's so crazy is my channel is actually flourishing a little bit. Um, Because y'all just don't understand. I be so close to just giving it up. Because I just feel like my fan base is so low. Like... People be, because me and my friend were just talking about this. It's just like, people be getting thousands of subscribers in like a year. And I've had my channel for two years now. And I'm still at, I'm still nowhere near no thousand. So I'm just like, should I even keep making videos? But then I have like supporters that be like, Yes, Kendra, keep doing your channel. Like, I love your videos, this, that, and the other. But I feel like my channel isn't flourishing like that because I only post once a week. And some of, like, the big, big YouTubers post every single day. And I just can't get with every single day. Like, I'm a student first and foremost. That's my main priority. So I really really can't like devote my time to youtube like that like the time that i do devote is like a stretch sometimes just because my editing software is like a dub and i thought i was gonna get I, okay look this was my plan y'all i thought that i was gonna be able to get a job this summer and use the money that i got from my job to buy a camera to um to get editing software, like purchase the actual software. Like I was really about to get Sony Vegas and get a subscription and all that. But I didn't get a job and I was still spending money. So it was just like, no, I did. Now, don't get me wrong. I did save up a lot of money this summer with the money that my parents give me. But as y'all seen, I went to the... um. I went on a trip to Virginia Beach and all that stuff. So basically all the money that I saved up, I spent most of it between the concert, um, my birthday stuff, and um, yeah, yeah, and the tattoo that I got. Well, I haven't got it yet in this video, but I'm literally getting it tomorrow. So I'll make a separate video about that after I get it. But yeah, so my goals is just not, look how raggedy this look. Oh. So my goals really didn't go as planned, you know? With y'all anyway, with my so, okay, I had to go away for a second, y'all, but I'm back. Y'all not even gonna tell. Okay, so yeah, just like I was saying, I hope this isn't too boring for y'all. I just, I can't spill my tea, you know? I can't talk about what I really want to talk about. Maybe I could touch on it. So, yeah, things just really didn't go like I planned as it pertains to um, my channel and everything. But I really plan on getting 200 subscribers by 
the end of the year. And I think it's like extremely possible at this point because I have 182 subscribers right now. And yeah, I just appreciate all the love and support. Um, yeah. So I guess now I could talk about my birthday and school and stuff. So my birthday is August 19th. Which is already passed, of course. But, um, y'all be scared. I'm about to cut my hair. Um, which already passed. And I had a really good time. Like, so first, I'm oh, sorry. I'm all over here. Okay, so first I was gonna, um, I was gonna go to this party. Well, first I planned on going out. Because, first off, my friend Sydney, her birthday is the 17th. So... We always kind of like do something that whole weekend or whatever, just, you know, to celebrate both our birthdays. So we went out on her birthday. That was really fun. And then we planned on like finding some other moves to do on my birthday. But on my birthday, it was literally only one move. And that was like the Twitter, um, NCAT and UNCG link up, UNCG link up. Comment down below if you know what I'm talking about, but. That was going on, but I really don't pay the party. Like, I'm not paying for no DJ to play some music and for me to dance with some people. Like, I just feel like that's a waste of money in my opinion. And I'm like, I'm not 21, so I'm not getting enough drinks, so I'm, and I'm not about to buy no food. Like, I just feel like it's a waste. And parties like that, it's not really a party, it's the club. Like, it's literally the club. I'm tired of them putting that it's a party. Yeah, it's. Like, people coming together just at a party. But I consider a party and a club two different things. But, yeah, long story short, that didn't work out. So, um, she knew one of her friends was, like, you know, they having a kickback, this, that, and the other. But, like, that fell through. So, I was like, well, let's just, I was like, I don't care what we do as long as we get somewhere before 12 o'clock because, you know, I want to be somewhere, some type of destination on my birthday. This was Saturday night, by the way. So I'm just like, okay, what are we going to do? So we ended up getting to the, um, the guy's place or whatever. It was only like three guys there or something like that. And, oh my God, I just feel like I'm cutting my hair. Um, it was only like three guys there, and they just seemed really whack. But some, the one of the guys, it was his birthday too, but he was dry. And I'm like, I'm trying to get lit. So whatever so we ended up didn't find another party so we didn't go nowhere we stayed there and like let's just say we played trooper there and like the night just got crazy like in a good way though like i had a really good time but i would never expect to do that on my birthday like i would never expect the night to go like that but i had a really good time so then on sunday i invited like a lot of my friends to come to my um to have like a birthday dinner at Red Lobster because I will love seafood. Well, I don't love seafood, I love crab legs. And their crab legs are pretty good. So I decided to go to Red Lobster. Now let me just say this right now. Some people, a lot of people didn't show up. And not, I kind of feel some type of way, kind of don't feel some type of way because the people that did come out it was good. Like, it was plenty of us. They filled up the table. Like, it was good. But it's just like, I invited people that I think was going to show up. And they didn't show up. Like, some people didn't even say they weren't coming. They just didn't come. And then a lot of people wanted to apologize later. Like, my bad. I didn't come. This and that. And I'm just like, I mean, it's over now. Like, I don't care at this point. Like, you didn't come. Like, I'm already kind of, like, salty, you know? But yeah, you know, it, it, I just feel like around times like this, it just really shows like who is your real friends. Like, I feel like if you didn't tell me happy birthday, then <laughs> yeah, if y'all can read between the lines, like obviously we're not really friends, period. But yeah, I'm going to stop being salty. So yeah, I got dressed up or whatever. Maybe I insert some pictures in here because I didn't put it in that vlog that I posted 
of me on my birthday and like I had like 40 people commenting on Instagram I had plenty of people on Facebook um I had like some strangers on Twitter tell me happy birthday like it was crazy like my parents got me stuff my aunt got me some money like it was really really good like I really had a really really good birthday and I don't know like this one was just one for the books like I feel like all my other birthdays all my other birthdays have been a little dry but this one was it was lit like it's, I'm not even 21 this is my 20th birthday so yes yeah, so I'm 20 now ting 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 okay but I'm gonna stop talking about that because I know y'all like, girl, your birthday is over. It's been over. But yeah. Ooh, so I just moved back into school. Well, not just moved back, but I moved back into school. And like, I'm not even gonna lie. Like, I feel different being a junior. Like, I feel kind of like above all the bull. Like, I feel like the all the freshman stuff, I'm over that. I'm over hanging out, being on campus. Like, honestly, I love my room and I'm gonna for sure try to do a room tour, but like my like my room isn't too bland, but for me right now, I just feel like it's not decorated enough to be showing y'all what it looks like. But yeah, I moved to Collegiate Commons, which is like across the street from NT. And like, I love it. Like my, my room is bigger than my room is back home. And my room back home is pretty big. So, and I have my own bathroom. I've never had my own bathroom. Well, I've had my own bathroom when I was little, but it was never like in my room. So like, I really, really like it. And I just be wanting to stay in here like all day. Like I don't be wanting to go on campus. I just be wanting to be in here doing my thing, doing me. But yeah, my classes, it's about to be OD. But I'm really striving to like do more this year. Like I really want to get an internship. No, I'm going to get an internship, okay? I'm going to get an internship this year. Like I want to really focus on like my future, you know? I want to do some more stuff. But you know, school just started. So I really haven't decided exactly what I want to do. But I know I want to just do some more stuff. I do want to post some different content on my um, channel as well. Is this a look or is it a look? Is it a look or is it a look? I would keep it like this, but you know, you know, no. Okay, let me stop. <laughs> Cause I'm ready to get these out. Hopefully I ain't cut my hair. Jesus Christ, I haven't cut my hair. Okay, but yeah, I just got really high, high hopes for this year. My summer was amazing. Like, y'all just don't understand. And I can't really explain, like, why it was amazing. Because it's just saying too much for y'all. But, yeah, it was just really, really good. Like, extremely good. Like, I kept on telling myself, like, I was a little sad that I didn't get a job this summer. Like, it was just like, I'm not making no money. I can't buy what I want to buy. Like, and I'm sitting around the house. I'm not doing nothing because I don't really have money to just be going out or whatever i mean obviously my parents support me but like i can't just be you know out here just throwing away money and i'm not doing nothing to make any money back so yeah i was really discouraged but then like some signs started coming up about the whole thing and um i don't want to get too religious on here but it was like a really religious like connection because I didn't think I was going to have anything to do this summer, but literally people back to back to back was asking me to dance for their events. So I'm just like, okay, since when am I booked? Like, since when am I booked? And it just really opened my eyes. Like, I just really, to me, it felt like as if this summer was for me to relax. And this summer was me for me to, like, really push my ministry and just, like, really be in my business, you know, like, not that I have, like, an actual business, but, you know, it just kind of, like, made me want to push my ministry and, like, get closer to God, like, you know what I'm saying? If that makes sense, like, you ever just had, like, almost like an epiphany, like, this, yes, this is what I need to be doing, like, this is it. This is why things are going how they was going, like, 
it just really explained as to why I didn't get a job. And I just have like a really good um, feeling in my spirit that I am going to get a job this summer. An internship, if anything. I want an internship, but I know they're going to be bigger opportunities this summer. Like, I just feel it in my bones, you know? But, yeah, life has just been really, 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 really good. And I really can't complain. Like, life has just been really good. <sighs> yeah, I've met some really nice people that have really, like, done, brought joy in my life. And let's just say I'm stepping into something that I haven't stepped into in a while. And it's a little scary, but it's like, it's just so many good vibes about it that it's just hard to be like, let me back off. Like, it's too, it's too up there to try to bring it down here, you know? So I'm really just trying to go with it like, um... I don't know, like, I feel, I feel like, I feel like a reassurance spiritually more than anything, which is, like, very reassuring because, like, if I feel like God is leading me in that direction, then it really must be something that's going to be life-changing in a, in a, like, fantastic way, like, I don't know, y'all. Because God has just been really blessing me. And I just, I can't just act like that's not what it is. Like, people say I'm spoiled and I get this, I get that. And yeah, I can see that. But at the end of the day, I'm blessed. Like, I'm blessed beyond measure. And I just have to thank God for that. So anytime I feel some reassurance on God's side, like, I feel like he's telling me, like, girl... This is it. Like, whew, I wish I could go into details, but I really can't. I probably could go into details. Get back to me in six months. <laughs> That's like a long time, but like six months is when I can get back to you. Look at my hang time. Look at my hang time. But yeah, I don't want to get too spiritual on y'all, but like that's really, really how I feel. And some things, I feel like some things, shoot, I'm all up in the camera. I feel like some things happen for a reason. So, some of the things that's been happening lately, I really feel like, not to say it was meant to be, but it's kind of like, if something's going to come and something's going to go, it's going to come and go. I can't, you know, fight too much on it, like, I just have to let it be. Like, if it's going to be, it's going to be. If it's not, it's not. And I don't want to say go with the flow, but it's kind of like that. Like, I can't force anything anymore. Like, and I'm really not going to put any of my energy into something that isn't good for me or is stressing me out or is not pushing me to do better, you know? If it's bringing me down, I just can't. That just bring me to this thing. And then I'm going to just speed this joint up. Because I know y'all tired of me talking. But don't I just feel like... I don't know about... Let me comment down below. If I'm the only one that feels like I'm not trying to go through the trenches with no God. Like, I'm, I'm over that. I'm over that. I feel like... I got too many things going for me. And comment down below if you feel the same way. Like, if you feel like... Because, I mean, I just feel like I'm a potentially wealthy woman. Like, I can potentially make six figures. Like, that can be in my future, no doubt. There is no, like, oh, maybe. Like, oh, she might do this, she might do that. Like, no. Like, in my heart, it's damn near guaranteed so like i feel like it's tough to find somebody that's at that level like i was talking to somebody about it and basically well basically in their opinion they push that don't settle for the way i am now 
especially in a guy's perspective because especially in a guy's perspective because they um mature slower than women or decide to settle down later than women so it's kind of like don't don't settle for me right now like try to get me later on when I'm doing what I need to be doing where I'm in the mindset and that doesn't mean don't support them why they on the come up but don't necessarily settle and like I said go through the trenches with them I'm not I'm not trying to go through the trenches I'd rather just wait like I'd rather just wait to pursue anything with you like we can be cool this and the other but I'm not trying to push it to where I'm your support system and you want me to hold you down and I'm supposed to be there for you and I mean obviously encouragement is one thing but intertwining me into your struggles and me literally having to push like literally hold you up I just that's just too much for me like if anything I have to hold myself up and then trying to help you up it's just going to be too heavy. Like, it's going to be too much on me. And a lot of people just stick into relationships that are like that, where they feel like the person needs them and they have to be there for them. And I get that. Like, I feel like having empathy for people is something very important. And being there for them is definitely important because everybody needs somebody, you know? And I don't know what that is for some people, but for me personally... You can't depend on just one person. Like, I have to depend on God at the end of the day. Like, he's the only one that's going to be able to hold me up as much as I need. Like, a person can push you up even higher so that you can feel more stability in real life. Like, you can consciously see. No. You can consciously feel. No. Because you can consciously see feel God but I feel like it's more of like a visual you're right here then and there right now no mystery no waiting no patience you're here right now to support me and I get that we all need some type of reassurance at the end of the day because I mean God put it on this earth to love one another so if we're not lifting up our brothers and sisters then what are we doing? What, what What's your purpose? Like, you know? So, I feel like your main support should come from God. And it is good to have people around you that can, you know, push you up in a sight that you can see. Now, God's going to hold you up anyway. But, you know, it can be kind of... It's a test of your faith whether or not you're going to... um you know, like steadfast on his path and believe what he's going to do in your life. Like, it's so much faith going into that that it's, it can almost feel uncertain. But, like, your confidence in God should grow as the time is now. Okay, but I said all that to say that just really, like, be about you. Like, I feel like I feel my best when I'm just, just a tad bit selfish, you know? Like, it's all about you. Like, those spirits. Get them away. Like, I don't know. Some people don't, like, believe in the whole... I don't know. Like, if you don't believe in God or whatever, whatever you choose to do, like, it's about good vibes. Like, if people don't give you good vibes and they're just more of a burden than something good in your life, then let them go. <laughs> let me stop. I just stop. I just finished watching so. And he just be having me dead. But yeah, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm going on a rant with y'all. But yeah, I'm just so tired of people settling for... I'm just so tired of people feeling like they have to stay or be in a relationship with somebody. And I don't even mean like boyfriend, girlfriend. Like I mean like any relationship where they feel like they're putting more in or they feel like they're not getting anything or they're not getting anything positive out of it. And that's whether or not they're seeing it or not, it's like you have to come to quits that like, okay, it's just not really working. And I don't know, sometimes you just have to be selfish sometimes. Like, I'm not saying don't care about people, but at the end of the day, how can you lift somebody else up when your life is in shambles? Like, 
so many people get caught up into like I care so much like I just care so so much like I just can't but those burdens get put on you and now you're as as in the dumps as they are and that's not like you being down well if they're a really good friend you being down is gonna bring both of y'all down because technically you're not gonna help them as much as you need to be and if they was there for you like you were there for them then they would be in the same boat as you so both of y'all are just clawing each other down over and over like Sometimes you just got to let people go. And I'm just going to leave it at that. <sighs> okay. Next, I just wanted to touch on communication just because I feel like so many people in this day and age, that's like my age, just don't have that maturity or I don't want to say intellect, but they don't have that intuition to just really communicate with people like, Obviously, we talk, and social media is a big way to get in contact with a lot of people. But you have to, like, really think about what you need, what you want, and how you want it. Like, and just voice that. Like, I'm so over the whole beating around the bush. Like, tell me what you want, what you need, what you don't like, what you like. Just let me know. Just let me know because... Why am I going to go around in circles having to, like, figure you out when you could just tell me? Or, like, why should I have to question you over and over again about something when you could just tell me? Like, so many issues can be resolved if people would just communicate how they feel and just say, like, what's on their mind. Like, I'm not saying just be blunt and do people dirty and just be mean. Like, obviously, if you don't have nothing nice to say, then don't say anything at all. But I'm just saying, like, if it's something really bothering you or you really want to go after something, but you just can't vote, you just can't voice it, like, muster up some strength. Like, I'm so into, like, people doing whatever they need to do to get their confidence up. Like, so many people get upset with people or feel some type of way about people that, are, like, are, like, seem kind of cocky. Um, first of all, I feel like if you have to tell, if you have to tell people that I'm cute, like I'm beautiful, I'm that girl, I don't want to say the B word, but if you feel that way, then, and I mean, if, if you saying that makes you believe that that is true, then go ahead. Like, who am I to be like, oh my gosh, be humble, be humble, like, don't do that. Like, I'm not the type of person to do that, but I would never, like, I'm so, like, discouraged about people trying to call me whack or people trying to put me down. Like, I'm less, like, first off, what you're never going to do is say that I'm whack or say that I'm not this or I'm not that. Like, I am who I am and you're not going to downplay me. Like, never downplay me. Ooh, it's making me mad. Just think about it. Like, I don't know, like, it's one thing to, like, feel good about yourself, but it's another thing to just be on your high horse and feel like nobody can bring you down. Because at the end of the day, nobody's perfect, so I know there's something up with you that you would want people to know or you feel like if they were to hit you right there, that it would hurt. So don't, whew, girl, don't ever try to downplay me. Like, no. I haven't always been as confident as I am, but... You have to believe, like, really, as much, like, to me, this is how I feel. Like, as much as you believe in God, and if that's if you're religious, sorry. As much as you believe in God and believe that he can get you through what you're going through or the fact that he woke you up this morning, as much as you believe that, you should believe that you are beautifully and wonderfully made, no doubt. Like, God made you with no mistakes, like, you might not like stuff about yourself. Like, for me, like, I don't like that. I don't have no butt. I really don't like that. I don't have no eyebrows. And I don't like how big my forehead is. But look, God made me like that. And I can't change it. Like, obviously, they made stuff now where you can get surgeries and stuff like that. And I wouldn't really like to judge people that get stuff like that just because if you have the coins and you feel like that's something that's going to, again, if that's, if that's going to boost your confidence, then that's one thing. But I don't encourage it because I feel like you are made how God wanted you to be. And you just have to start to love that. Like, I don't know. Lately, I've had, I've had a lot of people encourage me and tell me, like, personally, 
how like they can see my growth and how like I mean a lot of people honestly and that's why I made that skincare routine video because a lot of people have been talking about how good my skin looks and that just makes me feel good in general just because I've always had issues with my skin and I still have issues with my skin because I have eczema as well so it's still like an uphill battle but I just really appreciate somebody that that's why I like to encourage people myself like tell people how they are like if I think you're beautiful, then you're beautiful. Like, I want you to believe it. Like, I want you to truly believe it. Not just be like, oh, okay, thank you. Like, don't believe it because I said it. Believe it because you actually believe it. Like, in your heart that, like, this is how I feel about myself. So, I don't know. If there's anybody out there that just feels like their confidence isn't as high as they want it to be. Or they feel like they have maybe anxiety or um nervous about doing stuff like just give it time but also make it internally like i don't know i don't know that's why i say keep that's why i'm so adamant about keeping good company just because it makes so much of a difference when you're around people that actually want to uplift you that's why i'm so like adamant about that because you can't it is it's, it's a way that you can build your confidence on your own but it really takes People that are behind you, no matter what, that can really put you up there where you feel like, okay, like, I can actually do me. Like, I can actually be me, no problem, no, like, um, I don't want to say, I, like, no, like, anxiety or feeling like I'm just not good enough or something like that. Like, you no doubt need some type of support system. So, that's why I'm so adamant about having good people around you. So yeah, if you just feel like you're down in the dumps, because I was just, I've just been talking to a couple people lately that just are at a point in their life where they can't really change what's going on in their situation, and it has to start with them. Like it has to start with how I feel about myself, and it'll sh it'll shine onto others. When you feel good about yourself, like that love that you have for yourself and the love that you have for God will like portray like out of you you won't even notice until like people start saying like yeah i can do like da, 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 da. so yeah that's all i wanted to say like i don't know I'm, I'm i'm getting too into it i'm talking way too much and obviously i'm almost done with my hair so y'all can hear me shut up but comment down below if you watch this whole entire video and you listen to me talk and you want to make and you want me to make another video like this let me no, because I definitely do because I love to talk about stuff like this. But I want to give a huge shout out to, I think her name is Nisi on YouTube. She's one of my new subscribers and she's just so active. And I just love an active subscriber. Like, yes, thank you, sis. Thank you. And I didn't forget about making a video. I just want to wait until it's closer to the time. You know what I'm talking about. But yeah. Shout out to her. Shout out to all my new subscribers. Y'all the real MVPs. But can we can we just pause for a second for this length though? Okay, so I know this video was way, way too long. But I hope you got some good stuff out of it. Um, of course you see me how I done my hair and everything. It's been days. It's been days. And my last video that was gonna be my outro. The thing just didn't upload right so here we are so i hope you guys enjoyed this video please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it if you're not subscribed to my channel i don't know what you're doing but get with it <laughs> also po put on my post notifications so that you can know every time i post i post once a week and also follow me on all my social media because i post on here once a week and i post on there just so out every single day so if you want to see more of me then follow me on there all of that will be in the description down below. But comment down below if you made it to the end of the video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Do this.